All right. Happy Thursday, everybody. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. So um, we um, really, really excited over the next couple of weeks. We, we're we going to have some guests tuning into the Coach's Corner. We're going to have different different things going on. Uh, I know Myra's had people on before. I've had people on. Um, we're going to have some of that, too. But, uh, man, we're so excited about 2022. So the word for today is pursue. And I don't know if you've been able to tell, but the theme of this week is kind of going into a new year. You know, some of these words ring when you're going into a new year. And, and one of the things I hope is the word pursue is something that is ringing in your heart, your spirit, your, 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 your walk right now. Um, and if you look at the definition of the word pursue, to find or employ measures to obtain or accomplish. But there was an ancient Indian proverb that said, certain things catch your eye, but pursue only those that catch your heart, that capture your heart. So I got a question for you this morning and think about it and maybe even put it in the comments or the chats if the word comes to you. But what are you pursuing right now? What are you pursuing that has captured your heart? That thing that you can't quit thinking about. What is it for you? Because, see, I believe when you are pursuing. You don't need motivation to get up and go every morning. You just don't. How many of you would agree with that? You've had times in your life where you're pursuing something and it's like, man, you get up on fire because it's in your heart. Like it's passion, baby. You just got to go, right? It, it's not like work. It's not a job. It's just something that you love doing. And the people around you think you're crazy. They're like, what, Myra, why do you work so much? Why do you do all this? Why are you traveling all the time? And the world don't understand that it's love. Like, like it's something you're pursuing. It's something that's got fire in your heart and your spirit to go do. I want everybody to have that thing. Man, it's so powerful. So I got a few steps, and I'm going to turn it to Coach this morning. How to pursue your dream and your passion. Like, like how to pursue it, because I hope you've got that thing right now that's burning in you to do. Step one, dream it. Dream of the possibilities for yourself. Take time. We don't do it enough as adults to take time to dream. Step two, believe it. We've got to be able to say if certain things take place, if others help me, if I work hard enough, even though it's a big kind of audacious goal, I can achieve it. I can achieve it. And the more I tell myself that, the more I surround myself with the right team and the right support, right, coach? Mm -hmm. The more I can go after that bigger vision. Maybe it's build a new facility. Maybe it's go into a different pen rank. Maybe it's meeting sales quotas. I don't know what it is for you. Maybe it's health goals. But when you surround yourself with the right nucleus, that big audacious goal seems doable. Step three, see it. I got to picture myself. You got to picture yourself once, you, once your dream comes true. What does it look like? Where do you live? Who are you with? How does it feel to be there at that place? Maybe it's losing 30 pounds. What does it look like? How do you feel? How much energy do you got? See yourself. See it. Step four, tell it. We've got to share our dreams with the world. Something that we don't do enough of. We keep it bottled up inside of us. We keep what we really want bottled up instead of shouting it to the world. And then last is the last two is step five plan it every dream's got to have a plan how am i going to accomplish it what's my action steps and then step six work it here's the thing remember this short-term task multiplied by time 
equals long-term accomplishment every time. All right, Coach, I'm going to turn it to you. Hey, good stuff there, buddy. Wow. Okay, I'm going to uh, get going, uh, rolling with everybody. Good morning. Uh, I want to just kind of read what uh, Coach said again. It's uh, pursuing is to find or employ measures to obtain or accomplish to seek or pursue a goal. Okay, so uh, there are a few other words that can kind of mean the same thing. It can be chase, follow, and trail. So, again, I love throwing these questions out. Coach throwed us a question too, threw us out one. What are you going after and pursuing today or even this month in your life? You know, we are excited about the new year. But have you seriously sat down and thought about, made a plan of exactly how you're going to pursue whatever goals you have in mind? You know, if you will, if you will set these goals that you pursue, all it's going to do, if you reach them, it's just going to make you a much better leader, family member, anything. It's just going to help you in so many ways. So here are some things that we all need to be pursuing first one and this is huge pursue a life of deep relationships you know we've like we talked about you we're surrounding ourselves with great people if we want to attain things and reach high <coughs> oh, excuse me you know <coughs> wow i've never had to sneeze on on tv on the screen but Brene Brown says, connection is the energy that is created between people when they feel seen, heard, and valued. When they can give and receive without judgment. It's so, so worth the time, y'all, to pursue these type of connections. It might take a little time, but it's so worth it. Now, I'm fixing to say something that you're going to go, she's lost her mind again, but I do that about five times a day, so I'm just giving y'all the one early. Uh, pursue knowing you. You know, I talked to you the other day about looking in the mirror, but pursue knowing yourself. You know, that may to some seem selfish, but there's so many unselfish benefits that can come from it. You know, as we get older, we learn to simplify our lives and we discover the things that we truly, truly love. We usually push our own selves aside when we're doing that. If I ask you to raise your hand, if you're guilty of that, every single hand would go up. We push our things aside. So what do you, what do you love that you've put on the back burner? Is it travel? Is it hiking? Whatever it is, go pursue those things that you love because you deserve that. Another thing to create happiness and success is to pursue work that you love. How many of us and how many of us know somebody that are in a job that they do not like? They're miserable. I mean, it's, it's tough. You have to love what you do if you're going to keep pursuing. Do what you love. Also, Pursue a life of health and generosity. Don't allow stress and bad habits to control you. Work on your health for obvious reasons, but also so we can help and be generous to others. You know, uh, I love music. I think I've shared this with y'all before. Marvin Gaye is one of my all-time favorite singers, and I love what he said. If what makes you happy in life and to pursue it, I think is brave and a wonderful thing. I don't care what people say. I just want to pursue what makes me happy. So go out and start pursuing the things that make you happy. And an all around better person will start appearing. So get out there and pursue whatever makes you happy, whatever you love. It's not hard. Y'all have a great day. Coach, thank you so much for the words. I read that this morning. And, and, and when you send it over and I'm like, it's so on point um, because I, we see so many people I do in my journeys. I know coach does too, that they're on fire. They're pursuing and man, they just live like a, such a vibrant 
life when they're on that. We want that for everybody. So, guys, we love you. We appreciate you. Happy Thursday. Let's go rock today. Find somebody today and make them have a better day because you showed up. Love you. Bye, guys. y'all. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.